All right, guys. So in this video, I'm gonna be installing some chains on the tailgate of the mini truck. So uh, I know there's uh, OEM stuff that you could buy. I think that I've seen it on eBay for around 80 bucks. Um, and it looks like it's basically consists of a metal or two metal plates that are designed to engage a chain. And the chain looks kind of flimsy. Looks almost like a chain you would see on a chandelier kind of thing. But I wanted to do my own, not because it's cheaper, but because I wanted to do, well, you know, it, technically this is a DIY channel so it's all about making things yourself if you can or adapting stuff or doing stuff yourself so I figured why not give it a whirl and uh, also I wanted to make mine out of stainless steel so um, I'm gonna give it a try so uh, let's get to it so the way I went about this is I first designed the brackets in 3d and because I have a 3d printer I printed them out with some uh, old material I had on hand and uh, these are the basically the design that I came up with. Uh, this would be for the left side. The right side is just a mirror image of these. Uh, this smaller bracket mounts onto the side gate and this uh, wider one mounts onto the tailgate. Uh, you can see the whole pattern is different. So I'm using the existing holes on the side gate. Uh, that way I don't have to drill new holes. Uh, these holes are the holes that, that already hold the latch in place. So I'm just going to reuse those. I might have to use longer bolts. I'll, I'll, I'll see once I mount it up to see if that's the case or not. So if you're imagining the gate closed, the tailgate closed, this is how it'll look like. And then as the tailgate comes down, it'll basically be at 90 degrees or flat to the bed. And then you have a chain connecting these two. So that's the design for the brackets. Okay, so I got the uh, first bracket installed. I actually was able to reuse the hardware. It looks like it's long enough to, uh, you can see there, it's long enough to catch the, uh, hold the bracket, go through the tailgate and still latch, hold on to the latch. So I might keep those, I might change them, I don't know. These are the existing holes that are on the side gate. So I'm gonna mount those now. I actually tapped the plastic here. So I'm gonna use, uh, some M6 bolts. Uh, these are uh, cap screws, hex cap screws. So I'm gonna use these to hold it in place and then I could uh, test out the length of the chain. Okay, the plan for the chains. On a McMaster car, I got this uh, stainless steel chain. You could buy it by the foot. This is 5 16 diameter stainless steel. I overdid it. It's definitely way too heavy duty for what I need. Uh, if you're doing this, I would suggest 3 16 I wouldn't go above a quarter inch diameter. Uh, it's just too, it's too beefy for what, what the pickup does or what it could handle. But in any case, I already bought these. So what I'm gonna do is, this is the, I'm gonna use this in conjunction with these uh, threaded links. Now, the these are kind of a pain in the butt because you gotta unthread them every time you wanna remove. If you decide you don't need this. However, uh, in the future, I could, I could always change this to a carabiner style. But for now, I have these on hand, so that's what I'm gonna use. Now, these are longer than what I expected. They're all, they're like, I would say two and a half inches long. So I'm gonna end up having to cut some of these links off to compensate for the length of this. Uh, so if I do that, I might be stuck using these. However, I think carabiners are usually uh, longer as well. So I, it might be okay. In any case, I'm gonna do a dry run. I'm gonna install the injection molded pieces in conjunction with this, get the right uh, length, cut off the links I don't need. 
And then when I have everything set up the way I like it, I will uh, have the injection, oh, I keep saying injection molded, the 3D printed parts uh, built out of stainless steel. So as far as having these made out of metal, uh, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a service called Send Cut Send. I heard about these guys through a YouTuber called Super Fast Matt, a uh, really cool channel. He uses them all the time. Uh, basically you send them a 2D file, a uh, vector file for whatever you want and they laser cut it uh, and send it back to you. So it's literally Send Cut Send is literally what they do. You send them the file, they cut it and send it back to you. Uh, you could pick all different sorts of uh, materials, plastics, uh, aluminum, stainless steel, mild steel, anything you want. Uh, they have a wide variety of materials, different kinds of thicknesses. Uh, I picked one eighth thick stainless steel. Uh, they even have three different kinds of stainless steel, depending on the application. I think I went for the one that's like middle of the road. Uh, the other thing is the bend. So they do... Do, they um, they do offer a service where they could bend the part for you, but they charge $19 per part, which seems a little bit overpriced because I think like each one was like eight bucks or something like that. So it's double the price to bend it versus just cutting it. Uh, the other thing is uh, for the bracket that goes on the uh, side gate, I'm gonna tap those holes to a M6 uh, thread. And they also charge 19 bucks per part to tap holes. So I I ordered the parts without any uh, threaded holes, and I'm just going to tap them myself. And, then, you know, if you guys want to, to do this on your own, obviously, if you have the patience, you could just, if you have a drill press, you could just drill out the holes yourself. If you have a bandsaw or even an angle, uh, uh, angle grinder and you just want to take your time, you, you know, you could do it yourself. Uh, you know, I if you guys want these designs, I could uh, send them to you. Uh, you could email me at uh, cardaytoday at uh, gmail, and I could uh, get these over to you if you want to use the same design. But in any case, uh, I sent them the files, and uh, let's see what we get back. Okay, guys, so here's the package that I got from Send Cut Send. Uh, oh, they give me a little Sour Patch Kid. I'll give that to my son. And you can see this is how the parts arrived. They're uh, shrink wrapped to a piece of board. Pretty nicely packaged. So let's uh, open this up and mount it on the mini truck. Okay, so I tapped the, uh, these holes with the M6 tap. Um, you don't have to do this, you could just do a through hole and you know use whatever hardware you have, a quarter 20 and put a nut on the other side. But I wanted to um, make this as uh, close to the hardware that the factory uses as possible. Uh, having said that, I am probably just going to use these uh, cap screws because that's what I have on hand, that's 6mm. So I'm just going to... Put these from behind and what i might do too if there's too much because these are a little bit too long i might use one of these acorn nuts on the outside just to give it a clean look and just so this doesn't catch on stuff so let's get these on
Okay, so uh, we got these on. I think the last thing I'm going to do is I have some of this uh, uh, mesh. This is basically like a, ho a wire loom protector or hose protector. Um, I'm just going to sleeve the, uh, the the chain with this to eliminate any rattling while you're driving. I'm just going to cut this to what I think is the right length. And this is optional and you could use anything. You could use a piece of old rubber hose or uh, it just can't be too uh, heavy. It has to be somewhat pliable. Alright guys, so before I end this video, I just want to go over price real quick. Uh, here's my invoice for the uh, laser cut and bent pr uh, parts. So to laser cut the parts, they range from uh, $5.82 to $6.43. The cheaper ones were the ones on the side gate. The ones on the tailgate were a little bit wider, so they were a little bit more money. Uh, again, if um, I had to, I ordered these already pre-bent. Uh, which cost $19 each so I I wouldn't suggest you do that because you could very well bend them on a vise granted uh, I'm assuming you have a, a vise that you could do that on um, other than that you, I mean you're talking about 12 13 bucks per side uh, one foot long uh, piece of chain you could go to Home Depot probably get that anywhere from five to ten dollars depending on the gauge and if you want something out of stainless steel I really did uh, I went overkill on the chain it's uh, 5 16 thick um, stainless steel and then my 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 links my threaded links those are rated for 1400 pounds that I, I, I just overdid it but you guys could get a, a much simpler carabiner style that you could probably buy on Amazon and uh, the biggest difference between what I my setup and if you go with the low cost one is it's gonna corrode but um, again it all comes down to where you what you're using your truck for and the environment which your truck is in so in any case I hope this video helped you guys uh, if you want to do something like this and you want me to share my CAD drawings just shoot me an email at uh, cardaytoday at gmail.com and I will send you the flat vector uh, files for the brackets themselves and then you could uh, procure those on your own through send cut send or you could even make fabricate them yourself if you uh, prefer so uh, thanks for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video